Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel and today we'll be learning how to create a, a door animation. So we're going to be making this door to be able to open and so that we can be able to enter into the next room. So we'll have a next room here and we want, uh, whenever we, uh, we get close to that door, we want the, the room to be able to open to us. Okay, so we'll have a color differently, that's a yellow color here, we'll have a blue here. So. Uh, this is just going to be an interesting way of being able to see how to do an automated uh, door animation and, and in the next video we'll be putting sound on it. Okay, so um, right here we want to be able to create something very interesting. So what we are going to be creating right now is uh, animation for this particular scene. So I'll right click on this and I will make the kits to be editable so that I can be able to have access to them and animate them. So. Uh, right now there is no animation on it, so um, let's go back to here and create a new animation player now. So I'm going to create this animation player and I'm going to call this my door animation. So that's what I'm going to call this right now. So this door animation will be triggered whenever the player uh, comes very close to the door. So that's what we're going to be doing. So right now, uh, to do that, um, I'll first click on this and click on new. I'm going to call this my door open. So my door open will open the door for me. I'm going to do um, door open. So when I do that, um, I'm just going to go over here and select this one. And if you come over here, you have a transform. And you remember how we do that. You just click on this and you can just create it with a bit easier. Um, I'm just going to go ahead to so make this to be two seconds too. Okay, I think one second should be able to do for this because I want you just to be able to open. And I have this here. It's this way now and by it. Second, we want it to be able to just open like that. That's what we want it to do. So we'll have that. So you can just come over here and click on that. So if you go back, you see it's actually opens. So uh, we'll select the second one. That's this one here. And do the same thing on it. We're going to go to the transform and click on the position and click on create it's going to put a new one for us so we'll go over here when this opens we we'll also want that one to open now if you want it to be able to close automatically uh, with this one too you can be able to do that so but um, that's if that is what you want to do so um, if one is over here you just go over here and click on this transform again so if you want this after about a few seconds it should close on its own too so, but whenever i'm doing this i always like to be able to create the entire animation in one uh, animation here so i'm just going to uh, increase this to about uh, um, three seconds so here i'm just going to come over to the second and i will still be able to keyframe it to make sure that both of them are where they are You frame this one too. So that's this is like a toggle hold. So it's going to open and hold it still for one second so it can pass. And then by the third second, it's going to be able to close back. So to do that, you can just simply uh, go over here and just select this and go over to this place and just right click and duplicate it. And it should close it. That's it. So right now, if you play this, it's going to be able to open and then close. So that's the thing. So make sure that you, once it opens, you can be able to go through it. So uh, I think we're going to make this time to be uh, to last more, so we can easily pass through it. So we have this. Here. It's going to open quickly. All right. <clears throat> so we have this here.
Okay, I'm going to save this and let's go over to where we're going to animate this. Um, just going to just put this back function. So I'm going to click on the ready and I'm going to tell it uh, whenever you're ready, I want to play something. So before I do that, so remember I already have this um, for these um, scripts already there before. So I'm just creating a new um, ready function there to do something for me. So right now for me to do that, I will have to go back here uh, to my level one. Where do I have my do animation? Right click on it and I'm going to add uh, animation tree on to it. So the animation tree. So the animation tree uh, will assign uh, the door animation to it. So I'll first go into my animation blend tree and I'll click on assign and sorry, look at that assign and I'll assign to the door uh, animation. Don't use this one, I can even delete it. So I'm going to assign to the door animation. So I'm going to this output and I'm going to go over to my animation. So if you go to animation, if you click here, you'll be able to have access to the door open and door close. So I'm just going to use the door open for the meantime. And uh, you can be able to also use a time scale so that we can be able to speed up the pain or delay it a bit. So we're going to do that later. So I'll quickly uh, just make it, I like it being a bit slow. Uh, let's say 0 0.8. Okay, so um, right now, if you go to 3D scene, you, if you try to play this, this is your animation tree and it's active right now. So we'll have um, this. And play it, so it opens and it closes, okay? So uh, you have this and you don't want, you won't just play once and that's the end of it because you can actually make it to be able to loop, but we're not going to do that loop yet. So because we don't really need that here. So we want this to be triggered whenever uh, this guy comes close, it should be able to trigger the open. Okay. So uh, first I'm going to just go over here to my animation and I'm going to make it to be able to loop. So if you look at that, it opens and it closes, it opens and it closes. So that's if you want it to be looping. So, but we don't want it to look. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is the animation tree, we're going to just switch it up for the meantime. Uh, we want to do something here now. There's something very important we have to do. So we have been able to create a uh, door animation. So we want it to have a trigger. That whenever uh, something is touched, it's going to, you know, trigger this animation to begin to play. So right now, we'll have to go to our door. There's uh, the, the door here. So we have this a smart door, and this is the planes that we actually are using. So we'll have to add um, on the door. We're going to add a new thing here in this particular scene. I'm going to add an area 3D. So the area 3D is for collide for for detecting collision. Whenever something touches it, it's going to send send out a signal. So I'm going to use an area 3D. So the area 3D is going to have a collision. So I'm going to put a collision. Uh, I'm going to just rename this to door detector. So that's for just now. It's an area 3D. So right click on it and put a collision shape to it. So right now, when I put a collision shape, I will make this collision shape a box. So if you do that, um, this square it is right here. Um, this um, go to the uh, this and just move it. Okay. This is different from it's just the center. That's the reason why it appeared there. So I'm just going to move this dot detector to this place. So uh, the collision shape is actually inside it. So I want to dot that to be somewhere here. Not somewhere there. So that whenever the, the player, you know, just comes very close to this place, is going to you know, detect it. So I'm going to make the collision shape to be uh, big enough 
to be able to collide with um, anything that passes through there. Okay, so now if is touching other things like the door is going to just uh, sell it off immediately so uh, I, I want to just uh, make it easy for me by trying to just hang it somewhere here where it's not going to be touching anything at all so you have this something like this just push it in it's going to just be slim and uh, not touching the walls either so it's in the center here so i have this here so if you go to this place you actually see um this now mind you the other detector here is actually the collision i'm using to stop anyone from passing through this door okay door detector so that's it there the area 3d so you go to your node and you're gonna say area entered so we'll have the area entered body entered sorry body entered so that body entered you connect it and you're going to connect it to um we're going to use the the level one okay the main code here so you say on door detector detector body entered so you just put that so we're going to tell it that whenever this door is entered we want you to trigger this animation tree to turn on so remember we turned it off here so we can just drag it from here and just drop it here and say set active and then we can just put this here and just do that so he's going to set the door to be active and he's going to open the door for us so um let's see if that will work so that means whenever anybody enters into it it's going to just set it up so right now um you can be able to move around and avoid that and once you get close he opens the door for you and you can actually be able to pass into uh, this place so the problem is that um let's go to 3d here and make sure that um this collision ship uh we want it to be in two so we're going to duplicate this and i have another one over here so that whenever uh, this also is touched from this side we should be able to open this door for us Okay. And then you go over. Let's go back. Keep some opening. And close it. All right. All we're going to do right now is that. Uh, um, just open up this and we'll have about three seconds of animation and right here we it's not looping we're just gonna leave it to not loop at all so now after putting the we're setting once the dot detects a particular person is going to actually set uh, this active and we're going to add a delay so we want to delay a bit and um then go back to the way it was before so i'm going to put this here and i'm going to put it to be about uh, four seconds it's going to uh, delay for four seconds and then um, i'm going to duplicate that control d to duplicate and i'll set it to become um, invisible again so that's uh I'll, I'll make it not to be active again that means that the, the animation will not play any longer so if you go back here um i have do something so uh before this thing was um here so what i did uh then the fact that i didn't put any um collision on this door here so it's actually empty so you can be able to actually get this particular collision shape for the door detector okay you know this is the area three that we put before you select that and you can be able to make it to go this way so the reason why we won't do this is that so that when we come through here <clears throat> when we come through here we can be able to detect uh, the door so whenever you come very close the door opens and when you also come from this side the door still opens for you so that is the reason why now this will not work if you actually have a, a detector here let's say for example that is this door detecting if you have to do that that means that you have to write a code that detects only the player when the player touches it so we don't want to do 
or something very uh, complex right now so i'm just going to play this game and let's see what happens and um, once you get close it opens and you can be able to actually enter into the door and it closes when you get close again it opens for you so you can be able to actually uh, do that go close it opens. so uh, that's uh, basically how you can be able to actually create a very smart door uh, animation here that where it's actually uh, smart that it can be able to sense um, whenever someone comes close to it and it can be able to open. So in the next video, we are going to be adding some sounds to this door so that whenever um, you come close to the door, when it's opening, it's going to be making sounds. So I'll see you in the next video. And please don't forget to like my video, subscribe, share the video. And if you know anyone that is interested in creating uh, 3D games and even 2D games, inside google engine uh, using visual scripting or uh, you know try and uh, share this video with the person so the person can be able to get on to this thing here that we're doing all right so i'll see you in the next video